Hello, welcome to Craft and Knickknacks. Today we're gonna do the August plan with me. Before we start, let me show you my July first. Here's a flip through of my July month. If you remember, I did July last month, of course, using stamps. So here it is, all filled up. Here's my monthly page, my trackers, and my dailies. And then there's this page that my son played water with, so it got washed out. And then the last page of my month is for my review. August is my birth month, so I'm doing a birthday theme. I'm using this stamp that I got from Craft Pretty PH. So these are girls carrying birthday stuff. So for the cover, I'm using this girl carrying cake because cake is life for birthdays. And then using my orange Zig Clean Color Real Brush Pen, I'm writing August. Orange is my favorite color, so the theme is birthday and mostly orange. Next, I'm drawing some flags. We call it banderitas here in the Philippines. So I'm drawing those and then I'll color them in with um, shades of orange and yellow. I'm doing these banderitas because for some of the pages for my monthly, I can't add the stamp because it's too big. So I want to add those banderitas just to make it a cohesive look throughout all my monthly pages. I don't usually put a lot of decor on my cover pages or it's not something that I really like doing but I enjoyed this month maybe because it's my birthday and it's cake but I really enjoyed coloring and doing something more complex than I usually do. You will notice most of my monthly plan with me's the cover page is usually just really basic something that I could do within five minutes but this time around I decided hey I wanted to go full color it's my birthday so let's do it. And I'm coloring my cake brown because it's chocolate cake. Hey, I love chocolate cake. It's the best cake ever. And then white icing because I love, love, love marshmallow icing. Then next, I'm doing my August highlight page. August highlights or the monthly highlights are something that I've added to the front. It used to be at the back or towards the end of the month for me. But I think a few months back, I think back in June, I decided to put it next to the cover page because I keep on forgetting to update or rather it, I keep forgetting the updates that I want to do if I make it ahead of time then I could just add the updates or the highlights whenever they happen so for my August highlights page I chose this stamp with the girl holding the balloons again this stamp I got from craft pretty ph I'm coloring the balloons with the same set of colors the orange light orange and dark yellow that I used for the cake for the dress and the banderitas on the left side. I'm keeping the colors to these three shades because I want I don't want it to look that cluttered, but at the same time I want it to look very orangey. Then using my paper mate flare, I'm writing mga tampok ng Agosto or highlights of August. Next is my calendar page. You can see that I've already outlined it in pencil. Last July, if you noticed, I didn't do that. Um, and I figured I could manually do it back in July, just, you know, that the pencil step is just a waste of time. But I made so many mistakes for my July spreads that I thought, okay, I really need to do pencil even if I'm not doing a plan with me video. But I am doing it, so it's really handy. Then again, I'm drawing the banderitas because I cannot put stamp, the girl stamp on this page. The next, I took the girl stamp and then put it on the next page because it will fit there. I took the girl with the gift and I'm coloring that in again with the same set of colors. I also took other stamps, one from Rosie's and I think the other is um, something from Fairy Bunchkin's, a party one. And I'm using it to mark the three topics that I'm going to do or the three headers that I'm doing for my monthly pages. This, the ink I'm using is Versacolor Charcoal. You can see me cleaning and organizing my stamps usually in the video because I have a very small um, craft nook and I have a toddler. So if I leave my stamps lying around, chances are I'm going to lose them. And if I don't clean them, chances are I won't have time to clean them. Now I'm coloring the headers for the days of the week using Zig Clean Color Real Brush Pen Light Orange. Next, I took my 7 Gypsies number stamps and I chose the numbers that fit the squares and I stamped the numbers or the days of the week 
using Versacolor Vanilla. And then to make the page cohesive, I used the same pen I used for coloring the weekly labels to write the labels for my monthlies. I'm writing down the days of the week using my Uni Pin Fine Liner 0.5. Below the calendar, I wrote Kaganapan for events, Susunod for next month, Layon for goals, Takda for to-dos, and Tandaan for remember. Next, using the same set of colors I used for, the same set of color pencils I used for the banderitas on the previous page, I'm using them again. And I'm also using them to color the gifts, the balloon, and the girl holding the gift. Coloring used to be my frustration. I often tell my husband that I'm really annoyed that I color like a first grader because I just know how to stay within the lines but I have no idea about shading and shadowing and using different gradients of color to achieve a different effect. But with bullet journaling, I realize that you know I just need to try it out, keep coloring and don't mind that I'm not doing it the way I want it to look. Eventually, I'll get there but for now, I just need to be comfortable in using colors in my bullet journal. Even without the shading and shadowing, it still looks nice. So I deal with it and it's fine with me. So after decorating my monthly page, I'm gonna head on over the previous pages and my monthly logs or the future logs to fill out the dates that I need to do for my calendar and my goals, my to-dos, my re to remember stuff. This is what I love about a bullet journal. It really is just a to-do list but made it more organized. I'm a to-do lister and most of the time I forget where I wrote down things but with the bullet journal it just collects everything and now I know where to look so that when the new month comes in I know what to do and what to write in. Next up is my trackers. I really like this layout. I think I got it from Amanda Rage Lee. And I used to not do trackers because I don't like how it looks really. And I do my trackers on my dailies or the weekly pages just so I could track them and it's a smaller tracking. But when I saw this video from Amanda Rachel using this layout for trackers, I really loved it and I've been using it since June. And I've been committed to doing the stuff that's in my trackers so I guess it works for me versus the one that I do for the weeklies. The only downside of this tracker is that you have to do it over and over and over again for each item that you want to track. And I think the version that I saw from Amanda Rachely was just a box with numbered 1 to 30. It doesn't match the week. So I wanted to match the week because it's easier. I tried out for June, just the 1 to 30, but it didn't match. So it, it was harder for me, especially when I just backtrack the checking or the logging if, it, if I did it. Because sometimes I forget to come in every day. And log what I did so it was harder for me to reconcile visually so I decided I just wanted to look like my calendar so that it's easier this month is the second month that I'm using this layout and I think it's gonna be a mainstay for me I separated out my skincare routine from my tracker because it's the 10 step Korean skincare and I wanted to dedicate the page for it Using my Zebra Mild Liners, I'm color coding what I need to track in my trackers. And that is how I planned August. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like. To see more of my videos, hit subscribe. And if you want to receive updates whenever there's a new upload, hit that bell button now.